Good morning to everyone. Uh, welcome at Coffee at 9. Today we have a special episode. We are going to speak in English uh, because we have a new special uh, study program in Comenius University and it's Social and Occupational Psychology at Faculty of Social and Economic Sciences. So we have three guests today. It's uh, the most as far <laughs> as we had. So we have Katarina here, Gretka and Lukáš. Uh, each one of them will tell you something about themselves by themselves. So we shall start with Katarina. So you have the word, welcome. Thank you so much, good morning. Uh, thank you for having us. Um, so my name is Katarina Křižová and I am a new um, educator at our faculty. Uh, this is my second semester. And a little bit about me, I uh, worked and studied in the United States for about eight years um, prior to coming back um, and joining our faculty here um, as a teacher. So I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited to be part um, of our new English program and I'm going to tell you all about it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Katka. So Lukas, you can go next. Okay, good morning to everyone. I'm I'm Lukas Bakos and basically I'm not really a teacher. I'm I'm a business person, I'm a manager, I'm an entrepreneur. I run my own business and I'm here on behalf of I would say business psychology. So I, I, I do teach and I do teach on top of my regular job. And basically my aim is to connect the business side with with university. So that's that and I'm looking forward to, to meeting you in our English program. Thank you very much, Lukas, and at the end, Gretka. Hi, good morning. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm Greta Bosmer, and I'm a student here at Comenius University, um, and I'm in the new programme, um, and I actually had my first semester with uh, Katarina Krizova, <laughs> and she was amazing. Um, and I am from England. I've been living there uh, a long time, but I'm originally from the Netherlands. Um, and my mum is Slovak, but I don't really know any Slovak, <laughs> so it's quite interesting about me and I'm excited to be here today. Uh, Gretka, you told me yesterday that your mum is Slovak and your dad, he is from Netherlands and you live in UK, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you gave to the phrase international student brand new meaning by this. <laughs> Exactly, you can't really get much more international. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, thank you very much. So, as you could hear, we have one student and two teachers here, and Lucan will offer us also maybe uh, the point of view from, from the business part in which he is the best. So, he will tell us later about the importance to uh, study in English and to basically speak in English. But let's talk a bit more about the new program. Katka, maybe you can tell us uh, how it all began and why you decided to teach there. Okay. Um, well, I think the, the purpose was to kind of create this international program uh, in Slovakia, um, kind of this alternative um, to our Slovak programs, so people can kind of come and study in English and get um, all the knowledge, all the, all the, all the theories um, and the application of theories in English um, as a kind of foundation, perhaps for the future, for their future job, or maybe for some further study. So that's kind of the, the purpose of our program. Why I decided to join, because it's really cool. I think it's really exciting. Um, it's new, it offers something amazing to our students here. Um, and um, it's also really close to home, so I think that's a wonderful opportunity um, for me as a teacher. Thank you very much. Um, you are right now in United States, is it correct? That is correct, yes. So you are teaching from United States? Uh, currently, yes, through various uh, mishaps, yes, <laughs> currently. <laughs> and this is your first year of teaching? Yes. Uh, is it your first year of teaching uh, like overall or just in Slovakia? Uh, no, just in Slovakia. Um, so as a part of when you, you kind of go um, to the United States to do your to, to study and to do your doctoral degree, you have to teach um, as kind of a part of your education. 
Um, so I taught um, as part of my doctoral program, and then later on, um, I was also hired by a different university, and I was teaching there for a couple of years. Uh, so all together, I've been teaching for, I want to say four years, um, but this is my first time teaching back home in Slovakia. So for you, it's quite normal to teach in English. Yes, it is. <laughs> and we, we discussed that, right? <laughs> Can you imagine yes. teaching in Slovak? Um, it, it was a transition for me. It was really interesting, actually, because I'm used to teaching English. Um, and so actually uh, teaching in Slovak uh, was a bit of a challenge. You know, finding those words, translating the terminology um, back to Slovak. Uh, but I think um, I survived. I hope. <laughs> I hope teach. I hope everyone else agrees with me that they survived as well. Um, so you know, but it, it was a transition for me, for sure. And how did you find this opportunity to teach at Comenius University? Oh, it was advertised, and I applied, and I oh. went through the interview process and everything. That's amazing. So it must have been a big decision to actually teach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe it was also about the, because of the pandemic that you were able to actually teach online. Um, well, this is like an added bonus kind of that I'm able to do this with everything else that was happening and and part of the part of um, the reason why I was still here is also related to pandemic. Uh, but I just made the decision to just be closer to my family, uh, to come home, you know. Yes. Uh, Gretka says that she's your student, so maybe okay. she can tell us a few words about what kind of teacher you are. Well, definitely. <laughs> I will praise um, Professor Katzkat like all the way because um, <laughs> I was quite worried, like not worried, but I was a bit nervous about starting at a school at a university that was mainly just Slovak students because all of my other classmates are Slovak. Um, but our lessons, everything's in English. Um, so I was I was a bit nervous, but and about meeting our teachers. But honestly, Katska it was just so lovely and welcoming and also very supportive. Like at the big right from the beginning, she said, if you need anything, just message me or um, email me anything and also she makes the lessons really interesting and, and, in, and interactive so yeah it, and we have really really good discussions we were always kind of sad when our seminars ended <laughs> because as a class we wanted to have more discussion time <laughs> and um, yeah we've, we've tried loads of different things like mindfulness and I don't know all of these very exciting things we've done a scrapbook and you know about our own lives so you know, all part of all part of uh, the course and she's made it really exciting and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. That's so nice of you. <laughs> it's all true. It's all true. <laughs> okay, now I have a question for Lukash. Why did you decide to teach at this study program? Uh, that's a tough one. I don't know. <laughs> It, it it all happened just out of the blue. I uh, I studied with uh, Julia. That's that's our boss in in, in our uh, uh, department, and we had a short conversation via Facebook, and she was just teasing me and asking whether I was willing to participate, and I I didn't know, and I said well, well I I don't know. I don't have that much time, and she promised it will it would not be that time consuming. So I agreed, but it is that time consuming. So, but 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 I'm able to 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 deliver somehow. Uh, but as I said, I'm I'm not really teaching. I'm, I don't consider myself a teacher. I have been working most of all with managers for I don't know almost two decades and I deliver workshops I'm a facilitator I'm a coach and I'm trying to implement that kind of approach to to our students so not really lecturing not really presenting and, and students listening I'm, I'm trying to have them involved and then and, and we are we are doing the workshop style of uh, education well I believe you have a really important role in this study program because 
as I read about it, uh, it should uh, also make people ready for the business life and for the business career. Uh, many of uh, absolvents of, of the Slovak study program end up in human resources, for example, on, or in personal management. So I believe you have a big role in that. And what do you think about advantages of studying in English? Well, on, on, on one hand, I don't think that English is the most important part of the study. I, I consider it a, 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 a byproduct. I think that the most important part is like being international, having international students involved in, in those groups. We're slowly approaching that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's still most of the students or almost all of the students are Slovak now. But in the future, I hope that we will achieve like really blended groups of different nations and that would be great. And English is just a byproduct. Thank you very much. So when you already started with the with the dynamic in the group of students, great. Maybe you can tell us about your classmates. Lukas said that most of them are Slovak. So how is it for you? Yeah, it is. It's very true. <clears throat> Actually, all of the uh, all of my classmates are Slovak <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> I'm the only uh, I'm the only international student so far. Um, but I mean, that hasn't stopped. It, it, it's still been amazing because everybody <laughs> we have a, a university group chat with, with my group <laughs> and um, I came on there. I was like, you know, you know, because everything's online, I've not been able to meet my uh, fellow classmates. Um, so this is one way where we can connect with each other. And um, it's been it's been really nice. The first thing I said, I was like, hi, guys, the whole group chat was in Slovak and I I can't read. I can't read Slovak, <laughs> like nothing apart from Ahoy, Ahoy, Tia. That's all I know. Jacquem, I that's all I know. <laughs> so I was looking at it. I was like, oh, no, I'm not going to be able to communicate with my classmates. So I was just like, hi, um, can we can you? talk in English, please. And everyone was like, yes. And they instantly switched. Everything was written in English. And I was like, wow. And it was just so lovely. And like the first lecture when it started, <clears throat> it was in Slovak and I was really worried. Um, and then my uh, classmates were translating for me on the group chat and saying, <laughs> and then they went to the teacher and they said, <clears throat> they said, oh, um, Greta doesn't speak Slovak, can you switch to English? And it was just, yeah, so honestly, it's been really nice. <laughs> A really supportive team here, yeah. So, I would yeah. say that we are we are just starting. This is the first group of students and we need to advertise more abroad. And uh, uh, I, I, I think it's it's going to improve and we will have those mixed groups of, of, of international students. And I may speak to that as well as a, as a teacher. For me, it was really important that uh, we do speak in English all the time so that all the communication is in English. Um, you know, whether it was just personal communication with me, even between me and a Slovak student, I was really kind of insistent on we're using English because this this is the program. This is what we are doing. Um, so I think I think that's also really kind of important that we can embed that in our students, like this, this program is in English, all of it, you know. That's amazing. That's amazing. And did you get some uh, feedback from the Slovak students? What's the their point of view? Do they understand English? Are they good at it? Is it easy for them to learn in English, to write in English? Or is it like work in progress? I'm really quite impressed. Um, our students are really good. Um, in English, they do a really good job uh, presenting in English, discussing in English. I was really quite impressed uh, by their English proficiency. Um, I cannot speak to how easy or hard it is for them. Um, I can talk for myself when I when I moved and started studying in English. It was really hard. It was really hard to make that switch. Um, it was very tiring. It took me a while to get used to it. So I imagine that there is some uh, learning curve there for them, but um, they don't show it. They're really good. They're a really good good group. Maybe Gretka has some behind scenes information. I was about to say, <laughs> I can probably add to that. Well, the thing is, <laughs> the first time that we were like online together, I was like, 
speaking in English and they were warning me. They were saying, oh, it, my English is not very good. Just correct me if I go wrong, etc." And I was like, OK, um, well, your writing seems to be great. So, you know, I'm not too worried. And then it comes on. Everyone's literally professional English speaker. And I'm like, <laughs> what did you worry about? <laughs> but um, no, there are there are some words that um, that kind of they got stuck with my my classmates get stuck with and then they're like what's this word in English and they'll just say it in Slovak and it's completely fine and I think it's like it's amazing the fact that they're actually studying in English and um yeah it's it's yeah I'm I'm very impressed with them yeah they're very good thank you very much Gretka I know that Lukas doesn't have much time so I have a question for him maybe last one he can tell us if he needs to leave or not, but uh, what you you said that you are mostly in the business and you are a manager. So when you are looking for employees, what do you looking for in them? Gee, the, <laughs> another tough question. Uh, and basically, this is something I'm I'm trying to bring to to our classes. Uh, I'm not really that interested in their knowledge. Of, of course, knowledge is important, but I'm very, very interested to see their skills. And this is something that I think that we should be able to help our students with acquiring. They, they should be able to present. They should be able to manage projects. They should be able to manage their time. They should be able to facilitate discussions and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So, so a lot of skills are uh, required when you hire people. So basically that's that's my opinion and uh, I try to do my best to help those students to acquire those skills. So not knowledge and know-how, plenty of uh, ways how to uh, get a lot of knowledge and know-how, but but skills and that needs practice and, and, and feedback, practicing and feedback, that, that's important. And that's basically uh, how I try to run the, the, the lectures or the workshops. That's amazing and I know that the uh, well, Faculty of Social and Economic Sciences is great in this field. They are really <coughs> giving the practic, uh, practic knowledge to, to students and, uh, and also you said that it's important if students are able to do presentations. Uh, for example, many students try their present presentation for the first time at the final exams. It's not the case of this study program mm -hmm. and it's not the case of uh, Faculty of Social and Economic Sciences. I know that in the Slovak, um, Slovak study program, they have actually a subject which is about making a great presentation. Yeah. So. As an example, but there are other examples as well. For example, in the previous semester, uh, my students had to deliver like real projects to, to, to real companies. So at the end of the semester, uh, directors of those companies were watching those students presenting the outcomes of their projects. So and, and, and those managers were those uh, uh, assigning points to, to, to my, my students. So I was not the one grading the students, but, but real managers from real companies after seeing uh, the outcome of a, a real project. That's, that's so amazing. That's perfect. And what exactly do you teach? <laughs> Basically, like, let's, let's call it business psychology, but in about 10 minutes I'm starting with assessment and development centers. Uh, later on we have a workshop we call train the trainer, like soft, soft skills trainer. Uh, and I also run a, a project that I call career club. And career club is really designed to provide students with, with insights on skills. Like I try to, uh, I, I, I try to connect them with people from like real business world and uh, I try to invite guests and they speak on topics that they, they really love and they are professional at. So we have a person talking about uh, uh, personal branding, how to create your own personal brand. Then we have another person talking about uh, uh, time management, how to organize your time. Uh, in two weeks we will have a professional talking on happiness how how to how to be happy in your life so the, tr trying to combine the, the the real business world and experts together with with students and academia 
Well, I think you definitely convinced many students to sign up for your for your program or for your subject right now because I definitely would. I'm sold. <laughs> so thank you very much. I don't know. Do you have like few more minutes? Uh, I, I unfortunately I need to go because I'm teaching. <laughs> I'm teaching, and, and it, it was a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I'm really glad to have you here. Bye. Yeah, take care. OK, so we will move it forward. Uh, Gretka, you said <laughs> now I will maybe bring some personal stuff on you, <laughs> but let's make it a little bit funny, don't we? So um, you said that you don't speak very well in Slovak. Yeah, <laughs> this is very true, yes. <laughs> but you live with your Slovak grandma. Yes, I do. <laughs> Yeah, that that can cause some like fun <laughs> conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how, how do you speak with her? It's it's a lot of sign language. <laughs> um, do you know, actually, she's trying to teach me some Slovak, uh, which is great. And I'm trying to teach her some English, which is also really good. Um, and um, we just, you know, we can communicate on a very basic level. I know a lot of different food types, you know, paradaiki and all that stuff, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, basic necessities I know. But um, yes, at the moment, if I want to talk about my psychology class and how it's going, I can't talk to her about it because the language is is too, it's too hard <laughs> at the moment. Well, do, do you plan to learn it? I really hope to actually. One of the reasons that I uh, chose to come to Comenius and to study psychology here um, was because um, I really don't, I've not seen my, before this, I've not seen my um, Slovak family for, for several years. Um, and I just, I used to be really close when I was little, but then, um, well, we were in the Netherlands and then we moved away to England and then it was even like harder to just to come over and then I have a lot of siblings and it's hard to just like organize to come over. So it's been, yeah, it's been uh, strange, but it's been really good to connect with uh, my Slovak family and try. I want to hopefully by the end of the program, I will be fluent. I don't know. I don't think I will be. <laughs> a very optimistic goal is that I'll be fluent, but at least I'll be able to understand people and well, you have three years to do that. I think you have no problem learning Slovak. Hopefully, that's yes, that's the goal. <laughs> yeah, your classmates help you as well. It's really funny, actually. <laughs> well, when um, there was one thing, and we were just talking, and then <laughs> with my classmate uh, Emka, um, and just like we were studying and everything and making a presentation and then I was asking we were just chatting I was asking oh could you teach me something and then she taught me this um <laughs> she said there's this game that they play Noja um Vitlitschki something I don't know <laughs> you're probably Noja. laughing at my pronunciation right now <laughs> Noja Vitlitschki Lizitschki yes that one and I said it and I kept repeating it because it's very like wordy and it's hard to say for me. Um, and she was like, Greta, <laughs> you sound very Czech. And I was like, what does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> there you go. So they try and teach me. They're very supportive and it's actually very funny when, <laughs> when I try. <laughs> Katka, you said that you went through the transition from Slovak to English already once so you remember how difficult it was for you and do you compare yourself to to your students or maybe you have more empathy for them <laughs> because you already went through it once uh yes i i i think i have some understanding <laughs> i think we are all unique so I, I do think that we all have our own unique experiences but i do think i have some understanding uh just kind of you know remembering always having to listen to lectures in English and just how you actually have to pay attention and it's more tiring because it's not something that you are used to. Um, so like you get tired much quicker and uh, taking notes, do you take notes in Slovak, do you take notes in English, you know, uh, when you study 
using those words that you're not really super familiar with or that you're not super used to. So it's, yeah, I, I, I know it's a challenge. I know it's not easy. And um, but I do think it's, it's, it's worth it. I definitely think it's worth it. Well, Lukash was speaking about the qualities which he looks at while hiring. What do you think about it? Do you have some personal preferences? Like if you should employ people, what do you think their qualities should be? Um, yes, so I am coming from a very different kind of perspective. I am a marriage and family therapist, so I'm, I'm coming from clinical practice. I, um, I, I provide therapy, uh, so I'm not coming from the business world. I'm coming from the clinical from the clinical world. Um, however, um, I do think skills are super important. Uh, for me as a teacher, it's important that my students uh, can develop their critical skills, cr critical thinking skills, uh, that they can really analyze some theories, they can apply the theories to real world experiences. Um, so to me, it, it is really important uh, that they do have these skills and it is perhaps more important to me, exactly just like Lukáš was saying, uh, then whether they, you know, have a certain content knowledge, of course, you have to have that. It is important, uh, but those skills uh, are really something I am looking for as a teacher as well, and I'm trying to um, help my students to develop. Thank you very much, Katka. I would like to rem uh, just remind the audience that they have a chance to ask any questions, either Katka or Gretka. You can use a Facebook comment and I will just read your question, so feel free to write us. So, Gretka, how do you, <laughs> how do you see it? with Sorry. the qualities of of the of the of the employee, or what what do you think is most important for you? In few years, you will be applicant for some job as well. So now you heard point of two people. So what are you going to focus on? Well, no, I think definitely um, this is this is actually very interesting because what what Katka said, um, she very much does in her in her course, um, like helps us with um, practicing the, the skills like presentation. We um, we led a mindfulness activity, which um, sometimes um, which Katka says she sometimes uses in her own uh, therapy sessions. And it's really good to have that insight actually into what um, courses there are, like what pathways there are into different um, kinds of psychology, whether it's therapy or whatever. And to have um, so many um, teachers that are very involved in the, um, in the field is, is, is really, really good for me, I think. And all my all my classmates as well because we can ask questions about it and we can uh, yeah and our teachers are very open with talking about that as well but I think definitely in the course we are already like having some of those skills and building on those skills that we would need to like apply for jobs. Thank you very much and let's just answer one question like both of you. Uh, what do you think is the advantage of studying in English? Katka, you can go first. Or I can go first. <laughs> I can go first. Um, I think there are many advantages. Well, like the cutting edge theories, the clinical research, all of those information, that's in English. And so when you study in it, like that's the terminology that you develop uh, from, from the get go. Uh, so it is going to be really easy for you to really um, immerse yourself um, in all this kind of current knowledge. Um, English is the language that we use on our international scene. Uh, networking, connecting with colleagues um, is always very important. And if you ever want to travel, um, whether it's just maybe some study abroad program or if you, uh, you know, you want to actually move somewhere, uh, it is going to give you an amazing head start. Like really it is going to give you a boost because you are already going to know stuff, right? Like you're already, it's going to be very familiar uh, to you. So I would say those are kind of the main advantages um, other than just challenging yourself <laughs> and just doing something, you know, a little different and maybe a little bit more adventurous. I don't know. <laughs> I would definitely, uh, yeah. 
I would definitely agree. I was just going to say um, from a student's perspective, you can go like so many places and borders open for you if you have the English language. And like Katika said, there's a lot of research that is new research that that's conducted that is in English. So it's just so it's, it's really it's really good for you to have that on, as a skill set and like familiar to you. And also as a as a student, I just think yeah like there's so many places you can go and it's like the world is your oyster and that's one big reason that i think it, it's so important to have to have the english language but I, I don't think that diminishes the fact that you should have your own language your mother tongue you should know your mother tongue which is why i want to learn slovak again but um it is it is important to communicate and to um and i think english is a good way right now of doing that so yeah so i'd say <laughs> Thank you very much, Gretka. And we have a question here for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why did you decide to apply for this study program? Okay, so this one has several reasons. <laughs> um, so it might be a long uh, response. So first of all, um, it was kind of getting into the pandemic time. I already had a, um, I already had a place actually in a university in the UK. <laughs> so, but I was just thinking um, about my future, about opportunities. The pandemic had just started. I thought, is there any way that I can apply to somewhere else as well? Because um, it looks like everything is going to be online. So I thought, why not go abroad somewhere? Or why not, you know, challenge myself and do something different and new? Um, and actually, my friends were very supportive. My family is very supportive. And um, then my mum found the course online. <laughs> and she is Slovak, so perhaps she was thinking about, um, I don't know, I don't know what she was thinking about, but she was trying to help me out. <laughs> she was like, hmm. So, um, yeah, um, so basically she found it and I thought, well, I don't know if I'll get in, but I applied and I got in and it's been like the best decision I could have made because, because, and I say this very genuinely, um, because it's such a new course um, and the where everybody's learning um, the university the faculty here really values your opinion as a student and um, they'll always ask for your feedback Katka always asks for our feedback all our teachers um, do and um, it's it's actually very supportive and it's very important to have that I think as a student and especially um, during the pandemic they've adapted to online so well um, and for me um, it's been a really good experience, um, even though I've not met any of my teachers in person. Um, we still have a really good network and um, I can always email or ask questions. So. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you for your answer. Uh, and we have questions, question for Katka as well. Do you plan to move to Slovakia? Uh, yes. Yeah. It's a short, short answer. <laughs> um, and, or? Yes, uh, there was, uh, if, if I may just add to what Gretka was saying um, about just kind of the, the, the English in our program. Another advantage of our program, I think, is that we are really student centered. And when we were talking about those skills, it is really important to us that we um, have a small group of students that we can really can focus on them and help them really develop and, and grow. Um, so it is, uh, we are talking about the importance of English and yes, that, that's wonderful. But another advantage of our program, I think, is it is, it is a small program, um, which gives you kind of a, that kind of a personal connection with your teachers and um, really kind of, I think, help you grow. So I just wanted to kind of add that there real quick. Yes, it was no, really it's so nice. true. It's so true because as a student, the conversations that we can have as a smaller group, it's just um, it's 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 so much richer because everybody has a chance to speak and share their share their view, and um, and it does give you, especially because it's now online, it gives you uh, it makes you feel closer to um, to your class to your teachers. Um, so I definitely agree. <laughs> That's been one of the yeah one of my favorite parts of this so far has been that we've had such a small group that we've been able to have such in-depth discussions. So how many of you is there? 
So in my group, in the English group, um, there are, I want to say, 11, including myself. Um, so, and it's just like amazing. <laughs> it's, it's really good. Um, I wouldn't mind there being more, obviously. Um, but if um, the, the classes stay small and stay like, you know, this kind of size, it's, it's actually really perfect to have um, deeper conversations and um, the closer connections. Kat, I have a question for you. How is the, uh, uh, the admission process? OK, um, so we are looking for students who are motivated. We are looking for students who want to do this and who uh, feel like they can uh, use English language. So if you're understanding us, if you're following what we are saying, you're good to go. Um, so all you need to do is we created a super cool website that I'm going to promote here. Uh, you just need to go there, read information about our program, and there is also information about the admissions process, uh, including the application that you can download and, and submit uh, to us. Thank you very much. We ran out of our time, but it was a pleasure to have you here both. Maybe you have something that you would like to add for the end? Patsa? I'm just really happy I was here. Thank you for letting me chat with you guys this morning. I hope um, we do have some students interested. Uh, don't get discouraged if you're a little worried about English. It is also our job as teachers to just help you uh, with that as well. Uh, so don't get discouraged if you're intrigued. Uh, definitely give it a shot and apply and we are looking forward to having you. I, I would just say um, with the application process for me, it was, I mean, I was doing it from a different country at the time. I was in England and it was actually quite straightforward and clear. So um, I think you'll have uh, no issues and um, like the teachers are so supportive and because it's such a new program, as I said, you'll have a lot of advantages because the teachers will want to know what what you think <laughs> they'll be like you know is it good for you shall we change anything so honestly um if you're thinking about it just apply and you know why not <laughs> thank you very much Gretka. thank you very much Gretka. it was a pleasure to have you here uh, thank you for accepting my invitation and uh, hope to see you again one day maybe live and i can i want to thank also the audience for watching us and see you next time Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>